It's time for the upper lower training split. In this video, I'm gonna explain exactly how this split works, the pros and cons, the special modifications, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you an example upper lower routine that you can copy and use for yourself. And before we actually start, remember that you should choose a training split that best fits your schedule and that you actually enjoy. Because if you do something you don't like, you will most likely not be able to stick to it for a longer time. So even though some split might be most optimal, you are still better off doing something that you look forward to and that you actually enjoy. Ultimately, this is what is gonna give you the best results. The consistency and hard work are the key, no matter the split. So let's get right in. The upper lower training split divides your days into upper body days, where you train all the muscles of the upper body, so chest, shoulders, biceps, triceps and back, and into lower body days, where you train all the muscles of the lower body so quads, hamstrings, glutes and calves. Now let me tell you about the pros and cons. Let's start with the pros. One of the biggest pros is that you won't run into any overlap issues, which also means that you will have more than enough time to recover between sessions. And also thanks to the upper lower split, you can be more flexible with your rest days, because it's not gonna throw off anything. Now let's talk about the cons. The biggest con of this split is that your upper body days are going to take a relatively long time to do because the upper body has more muscles that you need to focus on, which is not really the case for the lower body days, where the one day is usually focused on the quads and the other day is more focused on the hamstrings and glutes. But there is an easy fix for this, which I'm gonna talk about right now. The upper lower training split is most commonly run in four days per week setup, which is not ideal because of the reasons I mentioned a moment ago. But I'm gonna show you a way to fix this problem. So what you do is that instead of running the split 4 days a week, so 2 upper body days and 2 lower body days, you add one more upper body session to your routine. Thanks to this, you will now have 3 upper body days and 2 lower body days, which will allow you to split your upper body volume into more days and it will also help you to focus more on specific upper body muscles in each upper body workout. Now it's finally time to show you the upper lower training routine example that I have prepared for you. I have talked about these things in a video about training and programming. So if you have not seen that video yet, go check it out to learn more about crafting the most effective split of your dreams. I will be applying the methods I mentioned in that video to this training split, so it can be as effective as possible. When you are making the upper lower training split, you want to have one to two exercises for each body part in the given day. Definitely don't add more exercises than this, as there is already a lot of exercises to do in each day. So let's start with the upper body workout number one. This workout is gonna be more focused on the chest. So the first thing you are gonna do is that you will work your way up, so you are warmed up for your main exercise for the chest. Then you can start your two sets of bench press in the 5 to 8 rep range. You should really use the weight that is challenging so you can get stronger. And after you are done with those two sets, you are going to do one back off set in the 8 to 12 rep range, which means you are gonna lower the weight a little bit, but you still want it to be challenging. Then you will move on to the incline bench press and you will do three sets of 8 to 12 reps. This was the chest focused part. Now it's time for the back. So you start with weighted pull ups in the 8 to 12 rep range for three sets. If you can't do a weighted pull up, you can just do body weight pull ups or even assisted pull ups. Now you are gonna move over to the straight arm pull downs, 3 sets of 12 to 15 reps. Now that your back is done, it's time for the biceps. So first you are going to do 3 sets of barbell strict curl in the 8 to 10 rep range, really trying to focus on getting stronger. After that you need a curl variation that focuses on your brachialis, so for example hammer curl, 3 sets of 12 to 20 reps. This finishes the work for your biceps. Now let's work on your triceps. For this day you are going to do 3 sets of 12 to 15 reps of skull crushers. And lastly we have some shoulder work to finish off this day. So do 3 sets of 12 to 20 reps of lateral raises and also of the bent over rear delt flies. So this was the upper body workout number 1. Next up we have the lower body workout number 1. This workout is gonna be more focused on the quads. We will start with the squats, so warm up until you get to your working weight. Then do 2 sets of 5 to 8 reps and one back off set in the 8 to 12 rep range. Then you do 3 sets of lunges in the 12 to 20 rep range and finish your quads off with 3 sets of 12 to 20 reps of leg extensions. This concludes all the work for the quads on this day. Now we need one exercise for the hamstrings. So do 3 sets of Romanian deadlifts in the 8 to 12 rep range. And don't forget about your calves. 
do 3 sets of 8 to 12 reps of calf raises at the end of your workout. So this was the lower body workout number 1. Now let's go to the upper body workout number 2. This workout is gonna be more back focused. So we will start with 3 sets of 8 to 12 reps of lat pull downs. And then we are gonna go over to barbell rows, 3 sets of 8 to 12 reps. This was all the volume for the back. Now let's do some shoulder work. Your first shoulder exercise is going to be the overhead press. 3 sets of 8 to 12 reps. And after you are done with this, do 3 sets of face pulls in the 12 to 20 rep range. These were the exercises for the shoulders. Next up is chest. You will do 2 sets of bench press in the 5 to 8 rep range. And after you are done with those 2 sets, you are going to do 1 back off set in the 8 to 12 rep range. And you are going to follow it up with 3 sets of 12 to 20 reps of dumbbell flies. This was all the volume for the chest. Next up is biceps. You will do 3 sets of 12 to 15 reps of preacher curls and 3 sets of 12 to 15 reps of cable hammer curls. Now that all the biceps work is done, you finish the whole workout with some triceps work. So start with 3 sets of 8 to 12 reps of cable pushdowns and then follow it up with 3 sets of 8 to 12 reps of skull crushers. You could even superset these two exercises to save some time. So this was the upper body workout number 2. Now it's time for legs again. So the lower body workout number 2 is gonna be more focused on your glutes and hamstrings. So you will start with 3 sets of hip thrusts in the 8 to 12 rep range. Then you do 3 sets of good mornings in the 8 to 12 rep range. And then you do 3 sets of 15 to 20 reps of hamstring curls. Next up you do 3 sets of leg press in the 12 to 20 rep range and then you finish the glutes with 3 sets of 12 to 20 reps of the glute kickbacks. And once again, don't forget about calves, so 3 sets of 15 to 20 reps of calf raises. So this was the lower body workout number 2. Now the last workout left is the upper body workout number 3, which is gonna be more focused on your shoulders and arms. So first you are going to do 3 sets of barbell strict curl in the 8 to 10 rep range. And after that you are going to do 3 sets of 12 to 20 reps of concentration curls. Next you will work your way up so you are warmed up for your 2 heavy sets of overhead press in the 5 to 8 rep range. And then you do a 1 back off set in the 8 to 12 rep range. And when you are done with that, do 3 sets of lateral raises in the 12 to 20 rep range. Then we move on to the chest where you do 3 sets of 12 to 15 reps of the incline bench press. And then you go do 3 sets of cable flies in the 12 to 20 rep range. Now it's time for the back. First do 3 sets of 12 to 15 reps of the meadows rows. And then do 3 sets of 12 to 15 reps of the seated cable rows. And the last exercise of this whole workout is the triceps pushdown. 3 sets of 12 to 15 reps. So this concludes the upper body workout number 3 and the whole upper lower training split as a whole. Now you should know everything about this training split, so go ahead and try it out for yourself. If you still have any questions about this split, ask them in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching, don't forget to like the video and to share this video with anyone who is struggling to find a good training split for them. And if you still haven't subscribed, this would be a great time to do so. Thanks!